Good morning. Welcome to Securities Enforcement Forum 2020. I am Bruce Carton, the editor of Securities Docket. I am delighted to welcome everybody to what has become the preeminent securities enforcement conference anywhere. Uh, of course, today we are not at the Mayflower Hotel in Washington, D.C., as we had hoped and planned. We are out here in cyberspace. Uh, but the great thing about that, though, is that we're not limited by a, a physical space, meaning uh, so many more people can attend than normally are able to. So, in fact, we have over 800 people registered and counting as of this morning. And so um, it should be a great day. So I wanted to share a screen with you and just go through a couple of quick housekeeping things that uh, may be helpful. OK, uh, before we get started, let me just say a couple quick thank yous. Uh, thank you to um, Ankara Consulting Group, um, Cornerstone Research, FDI Consulting, and, and John Reed Star Consulting for their tremendous support. Uh, and then a uh, huge thank you also to the 23 law firms that are sponsors today, including the lead law firm today, uh, Cahill, uh, who stepped up to support this event. When you look at this list of law firms, uh, please take a look when you get a chance. It's really a list of the best law firms in the world in this practice area. So the, uh, the main web page for this conference is the page you started on this morning, the page that I'm on right now on the screen, the event summary page. And from there, you can go to a lot of different places. Uh, there are CLE forms uh, that we've posted. Um, the event has been approved for seven and a half hours of CLE, specifically in Delaware, but Delaware is reciprocal to another dozen or so states, including, I think most importantly for most people, New York, and for some other people, New Jersey, um, but a whole bunch of other states, Florida, you can see them all there. Um, and you can get the certificate of attendance for Delaware, which is used by New York and these other states uh, on that page right there. Um, the, bring this up right here. You can see all the sessions are listed here, the agenda, uh, all of the, the bios and photos of everybody are all there. So if you have a question about any panelists, you wanna know more about anybody, all the information is there. Uh, there's also an evaluations page uh, here where you can write an evaluation of the panels uh, you've attended and give us feedback. Uh, so let's stop sharing screen right now. Thank you. A um, few other quick things. So throughout the day, during some of the breaks, we'll be playing some short videos from some of our panels called a one big thing video. It's their, their one big takeaway, one key takeaway that they wanted to leave you with. Um, and as you can see on the player you're looking at right now, there are some other interesting tools that you may want to use today. There's a Twitter feed box there. If any of you want to join in the discussion on Twitter, that's always interesting. Please use the hashtag SEF, which stands for Securities Enforcement Forum, SEF Virtual. Uh, everything will kind of stream through there. You can see all of the, all of the uh, Twitter that's related to it there. We, we tried to get it started, Lou Mejia and I did earlier, but hopefully there'll be more than just the two of us uh, tweeting at some point. Uh, there's also a chat function on the player you're looking at that allows you to send a comment out to the uh, your, your fellow members of the audience if you want to do that. In the, in the recent virtual events we've done, the chat area has been very fun and kind of like the Wild West. It's been a lot of fun for people. Sometimes people know a bunch of people that, uh, who are also on there or they're sharing links to articles. It's uh, actually a, a fun way that the day can be a little more interactive, even if it's online. Uh, we'll see how it goes today. And finally, there's a there's a questions box you see there. Uh, securities enforcement forum, whether it's online or in person, it's always been a day of discussion, a day of interaction, not only between the panelists, but also between the attendees and the panelists. So uh, we encourage and appreciate your questions. We prioritize your questions. If you have a question, just type it in. Uh, the panel will try to answer as, many, answer as many questions as they can throughout the day. Your, your questions don't appear on the screen for everybody else to see. They just go to the panelists. So uh, feel free to ask all of your questions. We'll try to weave them in as much as we can. So that's kind of the housekeeping stuff there. Um, we appreciate everybody joining us today. Um, wish we could be in person. We're going to make the very best of what we can do. And, and in some ways, you'll see the virtual format is, is even better. Um, um, there's no omelets and... Uh, 
beautiful day at the Mayflower, but uh, there's a lot of other things that are that are quite interesting. So we have an incredible lineup of 11 panels and 45 panelists today. Every single panel today has at least one senior SEC official on it. So you'll be hearing straight from the SEC all day long. Uh, we have two extraordinary spotlight sessions today that are one-on-one -on -one interviews with key senior officials at the SEC. Uh, we have Richard Best, who's the new head of the SEC's New York office, and Matt Jakes, who's the chief accountant in the enforcement division. So we're going to get started with our first panel. It's supposed to start at 8.30, which I see it is 8.30. So in about one minute, we're going to get started. We'll be right back. Thank you. 